Hey there, this is the part one, the introduction on how to make your own pipe bag covers. Um, the reason why is, well, why not? Why be limited to the selection and the taste and, and of somebody else, right? There's not a lot of stuff out there. And frankly, I'm, I'm not impressed with any of it. And it all seems to cost too much. So um, whether you're a solo piper, whether you're a QM for a band or for a regiment, anything else, uh, I don't care if you're in production, whatever. It's all about sharing the knowledge. Um, I don't, I, everything I produce is pretty much a one-off, but so I'm going to present this as a one-off. But to start off, a little bit of history. I don't know when pipe bags became... Um, common. The earliest extant image that we have of a Highland bagpiper painted in 1715, William Cummings, piper to the Laird of Grant. We can see that he doesn't have a pipe bag and or pipe bag cover. And it's, it's actually invaluable because we learn a great deal about how this bag was uh, sewn. Incidentally, excellent book if you're a piper of any sort of pipe from northern uh, from the British Isles and Ireland, you really need to have this in your library. So there's our earliest extant image, no pipe bag cover. When I became, when I started playing the pipes, my first uh, teacher was with the Triumph Street Pipe Band and they were, they were being kind of rebels and not having pipe bags. People would say, man, Triumph Street, have you seen them? They don't have pipe bag, they don't have bag covers on their pipes. And to them, it was solely practical because the rough leather the bag stayed up in your oxter and it didn't slide down. And that's an issue that we're going to um, uh, deal with separately. So in any case, yeah, pipe bag covers. So the list of materials and tools that you'll need will start off, of course, the bagpipe themselves that we're measuring. And, and this is in no particular order that I present this stuff. A set of rubber stoppers, corks, to for the, for the drone stocks. So set of corks, a notepad, and a paper, soft pencil, a bit of uh, Taylor's chalk or other chalk that's sharpened, extra points if it's uh, grid paper, but it doesn't have to be. You're going to be making a drawing and, and recording numbers, right? Next, believe it or not, an empty bog paper roll. You could use a toilet, um, a uh, towel, uh, paper towel roll, which is longer, but this is handier. Just so there you go, one bog roll. Some th uh, cloth that we can cut up. This is an old bed sheet. Doesn't matter what it's made out of, uh, but it's going to be sacrif sacrificial. Now, depending on the fringe that you're going to put on the pipes, whether uh, what, whatever it might be. We're pretty, in this case, we're pretty much limited to what's available. I'm lucky in that I've been able to find something that's mostly right for the pipe bags that I've been making. This fringe material is available by the meter from a cloth shop, and we'll show you how to do that. But there's, there's various options. If you can't find this stuff, don't sweat it. There's a bunch of options to do it. Um, some common brown paper. This one's already marked out. A bit of a bit of a uh, cheat there, but I this is taped together from from brown bags when I went grocery shopping. That's to make the pattern and the cloth that you're going to make the pipe bag out of. This is from a an unserviceable kilt, and when I, I and I mentioned that I propose that with a bit of trepidation because. Most kilts, many, many, many kilts that you think are, ruined, are are beyond repair can be repaired, but we've had that discussion elsewhere. This is from a kilt where the front aprons were eaten away by moths, and I'm going to piece it together because, as we can see from this pipe bag that I've made and then pulled apart again, you can see there's a seam right here that I've sewn on. In times past, in the Army, when kilts were turned back into quartermaster so that they could draw a new kilt. The old kilts, if they couldn't be restored, would be repurposed in this sort of manner. So it's not at all unusual to see uh, seams. If they're, taste if they're carefully done, they're very hard to see. So there we go. There's our materials. There's our reasons why. And tune in when I manage to make the next section. Thank you.